This is a short video to show you a couple real basic things in Illustrator. I want to explain fill and stroke for one, and I want to explain closed paths. So we have this assignment called the biohazard symbol. And this one, if you look at it, looks pretty good. This is a, a student's work that I want to show um, a couple things on because it's not done exactly correct, even though it looks pretty dang good. All right, so let's get in here. I'm going to click in. You can see I have a tool panel over here. I have a layers panel over on the right side. And uh, first things first, I want to zoom out just a little bit because I want to show you how the fill and the stroke work. I'm going to start out. Um, I did have a student ask me about like how do you fill, how to use a fill tool. And we don't have really a fill tool. What we do is we create shapes, we create paths that are closed so that we can fill them. So a real basic shape is a rectangle. So I'm going to make a rectangle that's even bigger than my screen. And I'm going to click my fill down here on the left. Um, and I'm going to double click it and I'm just going to pick a color at random. Okay, see that color, that green color? Um, now the stroke, if I wanted to have a stroke, I would <laughs> not have a stroke. If I wanted to give my shape a stroke, I would double click the stroke. Maybe we'll give that a different color. You're not going to be able to see it that great until I go up to my stroke panel which yours might be at the top, you might be in your properties panel, but you'll have one. And I'm going to make it a 20 point stroke so that you can see it. Also, let's make it even bigger. Let's make it 100. Alright, so this kind of pinkish stroke that I have, you might be able to see, if I zoom in a little bit here, I'm going to move around. Um, my stroke is actually in the middle, or my path is in the middle of the stroke. I'm going to hide the preview just so you, can, you guys can see what I'm talking about. So this right here, where I'm grabbing, that's the corner of my, my object right there. Now when I show you the stroke that's applied to it, you can see it goes out. It's 100 points, so that means it's 50 points on one side, 50 points on the other side. Now the reason I'm showing you this is because I want you to see that since it's a closed shape I can align the stroke to the middle where it closes it in or I could align it to the outside um, but if it's not a closed shape then you can't do that All right, I'm gonna set my stroke to none because all I want to do is have a fill color in the back here um, to go to the next part of this tutorial alright so I'm going to lock that layer I could hide it if I want that green box but I'm going to unlock the other layer because I need to show you what is going on with this one. Um, one thing, since it's on a white background, it's not a big deal. But I would like to show you guys how to make a uh, compound path because we're going to be using it in the English D assignment. All right, so I'm going to double click on this to get down into this layer where I can pick these two circles. So one circle is filled with white. I'm going to make that green just so you can see. Um, and the other circle is filled with black. Well, what I want to happen, I want you to be able to see a hole. I want you to be able to see the green background through the middle of this shape. So I'm going to select both of those circles. Then I'm going to go up to Object, Compound Path, Make. Now, when I go back out to my outer layer, you can see there's a hole in the middle of it. All right, pretty cool, right? All right, the next thing I want to show you guys is how to fix these paths. Um, I noticed when I get in here to this level that it's not filled with black. I can It looks like it's filled with none, and then there's a stroke applied to it. So I'm like, why is a black object filled with none? So then I started thinking that maybe the black object wasn't done correctly. All right, so what I want to do is I'm going to delete that because we don't really want these shapes to be that complicated because then you start moving things around, things get messed up. So what we want to do is we want to fix these shapes. So I'm going to delete those outlines. Now we have this one. 
So if we apply a stroke to this, let's say 10 points. You know what, just so you guys can see it better, I might make it 20 points. All right, let's zoom up on that. You can see that there's an issue here where the path, um, the align stroke part right here is grayed out. I can't do anything with it. The path is in the middle of the stroke, but it's broken. So we're going to fix it. Okay. So I'm going to get my direct select tool. And let's test this theory. Let's see, is this a closed path? No, it is not. So the problem with not having a closed path is you get things that look like this. And you can't align the stroke properly. So let's undo that move that I just did. What we want to do is this. We want to select both of these points. Okay, there's two points here. I want to select both of them and join them. So I'm going to click off into a blank area. I drew a little box over those two points. And then I do object path join, which is command J. Now that's one closed path. If I go over to my stroke panel, I can align it to the inside or I could align it to the outside. So I'm aligning it to the outside and I'm going to put it to like maybe 10 points. Something like that. I like the way that looks a lot. Now, if this one was my first thing, then I would just copy it. Instead, I'm going to go ahead and fix these two. So I'm going to click over there, Command J, put a stroke on it, align it to the outside. Do this one too. Um, click across. Um, also, if you go to View Outline, that allows you to select those paths a little easier sometimes than if everything has a fill. So I'm going to click across here in Outline Mode. Again, if you go to View, GPU Preview, that means that's the color version, okay? So that's your graphics. So we're going to go to Preview. I'm going to add a stroke to that. Um, oh, I need to join that first. So again, Object, Path Join, or Command, or Control J. Line it to the outside. And okay, so that's how we fix that. Now, if I go back here, I'm going to open up my Layers panel. If you don't see your Layers panel, you can always go to Window, Layers. And um, I'm going to hide that back. And this is actually done correct. I know it looks a lot like the first version, but this one, now that we have closed paths, those strokes act the way that we expect. All right, thank you very much. Good luck.